Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest, we truly serve an awesome God. God loved us so much that not only did he send his son Jesus into the world to atone for the sins of those who would receive him and believe, but he also set him as an example of how to live our lives and how we can best represent him. A word of encouragement comes from 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 8 to 11. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, he should do it as the one speaking the very words of God. If anyone serves, he should do it with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. What do those words say to you? For me this morning, those words are saying that, you know, almost everything we do, or probably everything we do, we're representing Christ. We don't always know when people are, are watching us, but they are. We don't always know when people see us, but they do. But our actions represent who we believe in. We want to love others immensely. We want to love them so that it overcomes what's going on in their lives. Folks, people aren't looking to be fixed, and so often as human beings, we want to try to fix everybody else. What if God has called us to simply live out our lives as if we're representing Christ and to love people as Christ did and so that we don't have to worry about it? We don't have to worry about someone else. We can simply pray for them and trust that God is in control, that God is um, working in their lives, that God is calling them back to himself. Sometimes as Christians, we, we get it wrong. In fact, we see in the Pharisees back in the time of Jesus, they were getting it wrong. And, and sometimes in the, the, in the Old Testament, the Israelites were getting it wrong and trying to fix everybody else. Folks, our goal, our desire should be simply to serve God. To serve God in such a way that people see God and see God's love and see God's goodness and see God's hope and his faith and his grace and all those things that come because of how we serve. And so when it talks about offering hospitality without grumbling, when it talks about using our, our, our gift for others, when it talks about speaking as if the very words of God come out of our mouth, the point is so that people see God through our lives, that God can use us to build his kingdom. We can be encouraged today because we don't have to worry uh, about other people so much. We, we, we do because we love them. But our point, our charge is to serve God and to serve as God would serve, to serve as Christ served. Today, I want to encourage you simply to, to, to try your best to serve God, to speak and to act and do as if Christ were with you, as if you were representing Christ. We have this awesome opportunity to show the world who God is without being condemning, without putting them down, because we're not here to put them down. We're here to lift them up. We're here to serve and not be served. Praise God for that. Yes, it's opposite of what the world does and what the world wants, but it's God's way and it's the right way. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity we have to, to serve you, to love you, to, to speak on your behalf, to represent you. Father, I know at times we fail and many people have been hurt because of people uh, within your kingdom. And yet, Lord, oftentimes it comes down to us simply trying too hard. Father, I think that we have good hearts and we really want to serve you. We really want to help people. And yet we need to let you do your business. And so, Lord, help us today to let you be you, to let you be God, to let you and the work of the Holy Spirit convict people. Help us, oh God, simply to live out our lives according to your great plan. Help us to represent you well, uh, that others might come to know your kingdom. Father, be with those today who are hurting, who are sick, who need your touch, who, who need your help financially, who need your help in other ways. Father, there's so many needs out there today, and yet you know each one. You have a plan for each one. And so we thank you in advance for all that you're about to do for those that we know and for those especially that we love. Father, thank you for this day and the opportunities we have to serve you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. Do your best to go out and represent Christ today. Uh, don't be discouraged about, you know, how things go. In fact, be encouraged because God loves you and God will walk beside you even when people don't respond the way we think they should. God is still at work. Praise God for that. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.